Hey, it's Tim from Income TV, and welcome back to another epic episode. If this is your first time here, or for some strange reason you're not a subscriber yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you will be immediately notified when we release awesome new content for you. So in this video, we're going to show you how to set up a simple lead capture or squeeze page with ClickFunnels. Justin from the Income TV team will be walking you through the process. So take it away, Justin. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a squeeze page using ClickFunnels. So it's really easy to do. Uh, ClickFunnels is a great interface, it's super user friendly, and they've got a lot of great custom squeeze pages and other pages if you want to create sales pages and things like that as well. Um, but it's really great for creating squeeze pages, super simple, and they've got a lot of good templates. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is set up your squeeze page. So you want to go up to Funnels and scroll down to Build Funnel and click right there. And choose your funnel type. So uh, what I will typically do is I don't really um, necessarily, if I'm just building a simple squeeze page, I don't necessarily want to build out a whole funnel. So what I'll do um, instead is I go over to the classic funnel builder just because this is kind of what I'm used to and click create custom funnel. Um, and then you'll just give it a name. So we're just going to call this uh, BML demo. And then we'll uh, create a tag. So if we have multiple, um, if we want to create multiple uh, funnels within uh, and kind of categorize them and collect them all together, I will use a group tag just to keep them all organized. And I'll just call this the same thing for now. And click build funnel. So here we're going to start with our opt-in templates. So um, up here at the top, you have various options if you want to create a membership site, do a webinar, a sales page, all that stuff. But we're just going to stick with our email opt-in for right now. And we'll choose one of these templates. So all of these templates come with ClickFunnels. Uh, you do have the option to buy some additional ones. But um, for now, we're just going to use the ones that we have. There's a ton of great ones. And depending on what you're promoting and what you uh, want to do, there's a, like a lot more in-depth ones. There's a lot of uh, pages. Like if you were to look at this one, for example, they've got a lot of content on here, all this different stuff. Um, but for squeeze pages, I generally try and keep it just as simple as possible. I find that they tend to convert a little bit better. So uh, I'm just going to find a simple one to work with. Um, so for example, like <clears throat> this one's really simple. It just uses um, a headline in an opt-in form. So I'm going to create the page. And uh, once we've created our demo page, or it's loaded up, just click Edit Page, and it'll bring a bring up a um, page that's already been you know created with some uh, demo content. So what we'll do is we'll just go over here. We'll use the same headline as we did previously. We'll stick that right here. <clears throat> now, if I want to highlight some of this stuff, so on this headline they highlight you know three to four checks life-changing so maybe I want to mimic that um, so I'm going to highlight this and choose bold and do the same thing here <clears throat> excuse me um, so uh, now I've got my headline here and maybe I want to um, if I wanted to adjust the color here for example um, I'll hover over this little orange box this is my text box and click on settings go to bold and I could change this to blue if I wanted, or you know, this green color, whatever. Uh, I'm going to stick with this red. I just think that that kind of looks better. And then I can adjust like the font size, things like that here. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And now, if I wanted to adjust the height, maybe um, right here, you can see there's a lot of space. So uh, when you hover over different elements, it allows you to edit those elements. So right now we've got um, on the outer layer, this green box, and this includes all of this content right here. If we go a little bit closer, you see that there's this blue box, which includes this content, and then there's each of these elements uh, that you can adjust here, um, and then that's orange. So I'm going to actually go to the green one, click on settings, and you can see there's this top margin where there's all this empty space up here. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit 
uh, just because I think that looks a little bit better. And now I want to um, change out uh, this subheadline. So I'm going to use the one that we have right here. And then, um, so I've got a pretty good uh, little template right here. Uh, this is already set up with an email opt-in form. If I click on the form, I can adjust the input type. I don't want to do that because I don't want to change it because I want to collect the email, but there's some other options if uh, you want to use that as well. I suggest, um, especially when you're just getting started and you're focusing primarily on building your email list, just get the email address because that's going to uh, be the easiest thing to I get people to uh, opt into your list. If you try to add other elements like asking for a name or phone number, um, you'll probably get a lower conversion rate. And since the primary thing that we want is the email address, I just want to strictly uh, leave this one. If I did want to you know, ask for a name or something, you can just simply clone that and then click on it, change this to you know, first name, right? Uh, so now you're collecting your first name and your email address. And then you would want to change the placeholder text to, you know, Enter your first name here, there. So that's how you would do that if you wanted to. Um, it's not necessary. I don't recommend it when you're just getting started. So go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Yep, wanna delete that. Um, and now what we're actually doing is sending them to a sales page with a video. So instead of offering them, like right here, this call to action when they submit the page, it says download the free report today. I'm just gonna change that to say, Watch the free video now. Um, <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. So uh, we've got the layout of this um, all set up. Since we want to send them to our uh, affiliate promotion with our affiliate link, we'll just say this is our affiliate link right here. Um, so I'm going to uh, go to settings right here where it says general. I'm going to put on submit, go to this page, right? So now when I, um, when somebody enters their email address and opts in, that's the page that they're going to be directed to. So the next really important step is to actually integrate it with your autoresponder. So every time somebody opts into your list, uh, that data, their information actually goes into your SendLane account. But I'll show you how to do that in the next video. For now, just go ahead and click save and you're good to go. So once you click save, you can then change the uh, title right here if you want. So you see right up here in the top of the tab, it says, uh, you know, my awesome new landing page. You might want to change that. I'm going to actually change it to say the same thing as my headline. Not all of that's going to show up there, but at least you can see um, that that part of that shows up there. And then I'm going to click save again. Okay, so now I've got my page saved and I'm gonna click preview, and here I am. So this is what it looks like. If I wanna enter my email address here and click watch free video, um, it'll take me to the appropriate page. So I'm just gonna say test example at gmail.com, watch free video now. And there you go. Reveal, my lifestyle now mentor, you're about. <clears throat> so when you wanna publish this, I'm going to exit, and right here is the uh, URL that I can use. So I'm going to um, just click that, and this is the URL that I would share with people. Um, if you want to change that, you can click on this funnel step setting. Right here, you see where it says opt in right here. I'm just going to call this demo squeeze, and then I can change the path to demo dash squeeze. Click update funnel. And then you can see that now my uh, URL is a little bit cleaner and that is how you do that. So ClickFunnels is a great platform, super simple to use, super simple to integrate with your current email autoresponder and just a great way to create high converting squeeze pages that'll help you build your email list. So just click the link below this video to get access to your free trial of ClickFunnels and you can get inside and start messing around with it and see if you like it, but I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So click the link below to get started now. Do you want to learn from me live how to build an email list? Well then click the link below the video in the description or visit income.tv forward slash live 
and you will be taken to your Income TV Live registration page. Income TV Live events are free to attend and happen every Thursday. Each session we will focus on one thing you can add to your online business to get you closer to your financial goals. Also, I never leave these live events without answering every attendee's questions. So this is the perfect opportunity for you to get all your questions answered live and on the spot. And as a special bonus, I will be giving away cash prizes every event just to give you another reason not to miss these events. So make sure you click the link below the video in the description or visit income.tv forward slash live. And I can't wait to see you on the live trainings. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, be sure to click the circular image in the upper right hand corner of the screen and tick the bell icon to get notified whenever we release more new videos to help you increase your income. Go ahead and check out some additional money making videos right now on the left side of the screen. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.